Today let us learn about The Overview of Chemical Recovery Plant What is the Chemical Recovery Plant? And its role In Pulp Making Process Chemical Recovery Plant Is the plant where functioning In recovery the spent And convert them to a cooking chemicals Which then be sent back To be used in pulp mill again the benefit of having chemicals recovery plant is not only saving the cost from recycling cooking chemicals but also saving cost in waste management and reducing environmental issues the mentioned cooking chemicals is only from the cooking process called craft cooking process craft cooking process is defined as cooking wood chips by using sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfide as a cooking chemicals after cooking these chemicals are converted into sodium carbonate and sodium sulfate process start with pulp mill sent sodium carbonate and sodium sulfate containing filtrate that has been washed out of the cooked pulp in the first brown stock washer which contain highest concentration of spent liquor to the evaporator and chemical recovery plant to increase the concentration of liquor by evaporation these filtrate is called weak black liquor evaporator system are multi-stages or called multiple effect evaporation system plus one concentrator be able to increase the solid content of weak black liquor from 15 to 20 percent into 65 to 85 percent the concentrated black liquor which is called heavy or strong black liquor will then be sent to recovery boiler where organic materials will be burned to produce steam and inorganic materials will be melted the melted inorganics which is called smelt will fall down and dissolve with water to the tank underneath recovery furnace called green liquor dissolving tank the recovery boiler is the largest and single most expensive piece of equipment in a craft pulp mill Hence, in many mills, the recovery boiler limits the maximum production. There are two major chemicals in a green liquor. Those two are sodium carbonate and sodium sulfide. A green color in the liquor derived from the presence of colloidal iron sulfide. A green liquor will then be sent to a green liquor clarifier to remove solid contaminants called dregs a clear green liquor is then kept in green liquor tank before sending to the slaker where lime or calcium oxide is mixed with water to produce calcium hydroxide then green liquor will be mixed with calcium hydroxide to produce sodium hydroxide and calcium carbonate in the causticizer as per reaction below sodium carbonate reacted with calcium hydroxide the product will be two molecules of sodium hydroxide and calcium carbonate the products from the reaction called white liquor which contain solid material that is calcium carbonate which must be removed out of white liquor as much as possible so that it will not cause scale problem in the later stage and in the same time we are able to recover more calcium oxide to be used again too calcium carbonate in the white liquor will be separated in the equipment called white liquor clarifier the cleared white liquor will again filtered 
and kept in the white liquor tank. Before sending to the digester and pulp mill, as a cooking chemicals. The solid material which is calcium carbonate, is called, lime mud, will be washed in a lime mud washer. To recover, sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfide, as much as possible. The washed lime mud, will then be sent to lime mud filter, to increase the solid content to 60 to 70 percent. The thick lime mud, then sent to lime kiln, where lime mud will be dried, heated, and converted, into calcium oxide. This process known as calcining, which could be described, by the chemical equation below, calcium carbonate is heated, at the temperature approximately 1200 degrees Celsius, and getting calcium oxide and carbon dioxide as a product. The resulted calcium oxide, will be sent to use in slaking process. This process, keep running in cycle like this continuously, as long as pulp mill still running. That's all for the overview of chemical recovery plant. Thank you very much for your attention. See us again in the next EP. Follow us at YouTube channel Excellent Products and Supply.